Hi, this is Jennifer here with City Farmhouse Antiques, and I'm wanting to share with you this week's find of the week. And this week I'm going to be talking about black ephemera. That's a difficult word for me to get out. Or what we call black Americana. And these are really collectibles that you see that were made like in the 18th century, 19th century. A lot of pieces were produced um, like these back in the 1900s, like 1900 to 1950. And these pieces were actually produced by the Fiddler and Fiddler Mold and Dye Company. So on the bottom, it will show um, F and F if you can see it there. There, I think you can see it. And they were made uh, in the United States. Some people, you know, there's there's negatives and positives to everything. Some people don't believe in collecting these. They think that it's terrible. It's very negative. Um, I'm of the other side. I believe that if we ignore our history, um, it could be repeated. And I feel it's respectful to, to those that lived during that period to recognize that it did exist. And so a lot of people collect these pieces for that reason. And a lot of famous... Uh, people here in America because they are avid collectors of these types of pieces have really driven up the prices so these pieces are are relatively rare whenever I see them I do um, buy them because like I said there are a lot of collectors um, and of course there's negative a lot of different negative types of pieces and ephem ephemera that people can collect or pieces more like this of Aunt Jemima where it is um, a connotation of, you know, a very motherly um, being, you know, and jovial and happy all the time. So this is actually a cookie jar and the top comes off of the cookie jar. It's actually plastic. These are actually very, very collectible. You can see she's got a little repair there on the side. I mean, so these are... These are collected enough so that, I mean, people take the time to repair them. Um, and this one's actually in really good condition, even with the repair. You can see there's no holes or anything. Sometimes you'll find holes or cracks on the seams because it is plastic. And then here you can see the set of six of the spice jars, which are really kind of cute. And um, they came with a spice rack. Unfortunately, I don't have the spice rack. It's worth quite a bit of money. Um, and then here are the salt and pepper shakers, which I think are really cute too. And you can see the little holes in the top. And so these are very, very collectible. A lot of people um, buy them. And so, of course, when I found them, I, I did uh, buy them because they're very unusual and they are hard to find. Um, so you have to go check us out on our website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com where we have more than just antiques, and like us on Facebook.